Catherine Pays of the Ace family appears to have quite the dream life these days. Best known for being her baby daddy Austin McBroom's sweetheart and being mama to their kids Ellen and Alea, the recent years have definitely brought a lot of success and prosperity for her. Their YouTube channel, The Ace Family, as I'm sure you all know, has given them a ton of fame and they've surpassed 17 million subscribers on the platform. Catherine herself has 7.5 million followers on Instagram as well, and even her daughters have millions of followers on their account, and they're just babies. Aside from Catherine's YouTube career, she also has done plenty of modeling, even before meeting Austin and becoming a mom. She's modeled for companies like Azalea Swimwear and even Victoria's Secret, and still has plenty of brand deals going on like most influencers do. Catherine is 29 at the time of this recording, and although she was born in Montreal, Canada, she lives in LA now with her family, where they've settled down in a mega mansion, of course. Considering all of this, it's no doubt that Catherine's net worth has blown up in the past few years and is estimated at around a million, while her man Austin's net worth is in the multi million dollar ballpark. Combined, the family is definitely wealthy and their empire just seems to keep growing. Although the Ace family is living the life, they still seem to wind up in hot water pretty often, even with their fans. It seems to usually involve the man of the house, Austin, more than Catherine, but recently they both upset fans with this video. Our Ace family, I think Catherine and I should switch jobs now and put her back here cooking and put me in the front to see how she does. Let's go ahead. You're back in the kitchen. First. Gotta wash these hands really, really good for you guys. You know, I'm gonna be oh. serving you. Basically, by posting this video that was titled Working at a Restaurant for 24 Hours, it seemed like Catherine and Austin were mocking or making light of working class struggles, and the couple barely even lasted a few hours working there. While responding to the criticism, Catherine explained that she does have experience working everyday jobs and told fans, I was cleaning houses for several years. I helped my mom. She had another job. That was actually my first job, along with many, many other jobs I've had. Well, if that's true, those days are certainly over. We can see that with all of the YouTube success her and Austin have achieved so far, Catherine's life looks pretty damn glamorous. Austin might be the flashier one of the two, but don't let that fool you. Catherine seems to have everything a woman would want, and today we're gonna tell you all about it here for you on Famous Entertainment. What's going on guys, I'm Kara, and today we're doing a different kind of video. As always, you gotta make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post videos so you never miss out. Today we'll be bringing you a list of the most expensive things Catherine of the Ace family owns, or has spent a pretty penny on. Hopefully it doesn't make you too jealous. If you guys like this idea and wanna see some more lists, let me know which in the comments down below. We also have some celebrity exes lists, even Catherine and Austin's on this channel, which we'll link after. Now let's get into this video. Starting with number 10 on the list, Catherine's surgeries. Now this seems to be a touchy subject, with some fans believing Catherine's had no work done, while others think the opposite. Let me just say though, it would be hard to believe that a woman who was previously a model and is now on YouTube living her life in front of the camera didn't have any plastic surgery. For the sake of this video, let's just mention a couple. Catherine's boob job is no secret. She posted about it on Instagram back in the day and recently brought it up again in a vlog as well. Catherine's implants probably cost her somewhere around 10K, give or take. It's also pretty clear that she's gotten a nose job. I'm sure a lot of you will disagree with me, but Catherine's nose is way too sleek and too perfect to be natural. You can tell from her side profile. We don't know the details, but Catherine probably spent around six to $10,000 on a rhinoplasty. These Ace Family babies have fancier clothes than me, so number nine on the list is Ellen Alea's outfits. I know Catherine isn't wearing them, but I'm pretty sure she's the one dressing them, so I think it's appropriate. If you lurk Elle's Instagram, you can see all of her designer gear, which seems to include a lot of Gucci. In her photos alone, you can see multiple Gucci shirts, Gucci shoes, a Gucci fanny pack, and even a Gucci scarf. The clothes are each well over 100 bucks, and the fanny pack goes for over 1K. Aside from the kids' outfits, we know that Catherine does plenty of shopping, even aside from their no-budget shopping challenges on YouTube. She has an expensive wardrobe and can probably afford any outfits she wants. Some examples include this outfit Catherine wore that retails for over 300, these pants that are over 100, and her workout clothes which are all pricey too. I think you get the idea. Number 7 on our list of Catherine's expensive things has got to be her shoes. We don't see them all the time, or maybe it's hard to notice, but aside from all the cute sneakers and running shoes the woman has, she also has a bunch of designer ones. Some examples of Catherine's brand name footwear include her Fendi boots which go for just under a grand, her Chanel flats which retail for over a grand, and these lace-up heels which cost over 900 bucks. 
and I'm sure there are plenty more where those came from. To go along with all her shoes, Catherine's designer bags make the list at number six. The girl has a collection, that's for sure, and I don't blame her. Firstly, you can tell she loves Louis Vuitton bags. There you can see she has the LV Neverfull, which costs around 1.5K, a mini LV backpack, this rose pink LV one, which costs over 2K, and this one that's worth almost 2,500. Catherine has also posed with her YSL bags, which are a few grand each, her hot pink Fendi bag that costs around 1,700, and a Prada fanny pack, which was also over a grand. Now these are just some of Catherine's purse collection, and I'm sure if you watch her vlogs, you'll find more. Mommy, look what Princess got you. <laughs> We're halfway done this list, so I think now we can talk about Catherine's rock, which is number five. Apparently, Austin got Catherine's engagement ring custom made from Forever Diamonds, New York. This baby is six carats, and it's pretty massive if you ask me. It's a radiant cut diamond made with either platinum or white gold. There's also at least one extra carat of accent diamond set into the ring by the looks of it. A ring around the size with that many carats range in price, but on average, it probably costs at least over 60K. Oh. Oh my gosh. You guys made my dream come true, as well as Catherine's dream. For number four on our list, to go along with her dream engagement ring, Catherine also got a gorgeous diamond bracelet. You know, because the ring wasn't enough. This yellow diamond tennis bracelet we can see on Catherine's wrist, if it's the same one in that vid, costs almost 50,000 bucks. Now, if all that bling doesn't make her feel like royalty, I don't know what will. With all of Catherine and her family's success, of course the woman has to drive in style too, especially since her man has a Lambo. <laughs> Number three on the list of Catherine's most expensive things is her Jeep. A couple of years back, Austin gifted Catherine this Jeep she's always wanted for Valentine's Day. Funny, that sounds like my fantasy too. Anyways, Catherine got a Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon with 20-inch wheels, a 4-inch lift kit, rims, red leather interior, and more, which cost around 50k. Not to mention, she got it fully redone this year. As you can see, it's been fully repainted white, and I mean all white. Redesigned, lifted even more, and she got new tires as well. I'm sure that added at least another 10k to the price tag. Coming in at number two has got to be Catherine's second and even more expensive car, her 2018 Range Rover Autobiography. <laughs> oh my god, this is so freaking nice! And what a shocker, it was yet another surprise on camera gift from Austin. Anyways, if Catherine's custom Jeep wasn't enough, the Range Rover model she has retails for a starting price of over 170 k The woman definitely has some stylish wheels, that's for sure. Of course, Catherine needs a spot to park her fancy whips, so number one on our list of Catherine's most expensive things is her mansion. Okay, I know the house is obviously owned by both her and Austin, but this place is so crazy and so outrageous that it has to be the most expensive thing she has to her name. Shared price tag or not. Steinway, please place something that welcomes the Ace family to the house. The couple was working on this dream home for over a year and it was created just for them. To get an idea, the mansion was built on 1.8 acres of land and there are 12 bedrooms, 13 bathrooms, walk-in closets, floor-to-ceiling showers, a movie theater, gym, huge infinity pool, and more. Austin and Catherine actually merged two separate houses to create this castle and purchasing those alone cost around 10 mil. Add a year of construction costs and who knows how million that comes out to. Catherine would probably also say their mega mansion is her most prized possession. She explained why she wanted such a huge home and said, We do also plan on expanding our family. Our family is going to get a lot bigger. This house is definitely needed for what we plan on doing with our career, what we plan on doing with our lives. So there you have it ladies and gentlemen, Catherine of the Ace Fam's 10 most expensive things. This doesn't include all of the events, plane tickets and other stuff I'm positive she spends her money on, and I'm sure she has more luxury items she doesn't show on the gram, but you can paint a pretty clear picture. If I missed anything major, be sure to let me know down in the comments. I'm sure as the kids keep growing and maybe even their family, by next year we'll be able to make another full list of Catherine's most expensive things. But I don't think anything can top that Ace Family Mansion, that's for sure. I want to hear from you guys. What was your favorite thing out of Catherine's purchases and was there anything on the list that surprised you? 
I for one was jealous of her Jeep, but I think I liked it better before they did the whole whiteout on it. If you like these videos, let me know what other lists you'd want to see. Make sure you're subscribed and follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more because I love connecting with you guys. I'll see you next week with some new vids. Bye!